What's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you are having a great Tuesday morning. Um, I'm going to bring a decently quick update for you guys this morning because I'm about to head to work and get going here. So um, right now we have a tropical storm still. Tropical storm Elsa, 60 mile per hour storm. This has a chance to strengthen today as it rides west of Florida. Um, you know, it's it, it doesn't look that impressive, still looks disorganized, and I can tell you that the southwesternly shear is really destroying the entire western half of the storm, a lot of dry air shear. Um, so it's starting to get a little stacked up. Um, the circulation is starting to develop an eastern eye wall, but this is, this is it. This is Tropical Storm Elsa. The entire storm is east-weighted. There's nothing on the west side. So... That, that's pretty much what we got here. We expected this. I mentioned it last night. Um, all the worst weather is on the eastern side of this storm, but this is the radar right now. Some of the worst weather is beginning to slowly inch its way into southwest Florida. There is going to be a tornado threat for the peninsula of Florida in this entire area today as the eastern area of this storm really begins to slash the peninsula of Florida. So um, we get a little bit deeper in this video if my internet wants to uh, work here for a second um we're looking here here is the cone of uncertainty we pretty much are certain that this is probably going to make a landfall in the big bend of florida potentially in the southern sections of it there's hurricane watches you got tropical storm warnings for the entire west coast of florida but there's hurricane watches now so it's telling you that these there's could be some isolated hurricane conditions and some of these bands and especially whoever gets the brunt of whatever eye wall if you will of the storm basically the most intense circuit uh convection around the actual circulation when this makes landfall around the big big bend of florida um probably tomorrow morning so let's look back at this here you go you got the tropical storm warnings going well inland you got hurricane watches on the most extreme edges of the shore so basically if you're on the shoreline in this area of florida you got hurricane watches as far as the intensity forecast here we're not expecting this to strengthen much but it's going to probably strengthen here in the next 12 to 18 hours i really think it's going to try tropical storm elsa is going to try to make a run at hurricane status it's going to try its hardest um, there's a lot of disagreements on whether it's going to do that in the models but uh, certain models are wanting to say it will. Certain models are keeping it as a strong tropical storm upon landfall. It's going to be a very, very interesting day. Uh, just kind of radar watching, figuring it out if it can get a good, if it can stop getting so exposed by the southwest shear. Um, it is getting so exposed right now, it's affecting the rest of the storm. If it can close up and kind of protect itself, then we have kind of a different scenario here. But it is getting hit hard by what we expected, which is that southwest shear. And we're going to have to get rid of that for this to become a healthy storm before making landfall here in 24 hours. But here it goes. Here's the latest GFS. It's moving forward. It has a strengthening over the next 6 to 12 hours. Um, just southwest of um, Florida as a pretty strong tropical storm. It's scraping the entire peninsula, then makes landfall around the Big Bend somewhere. It's going to be hard to figure out where. Maybe Cedar Keys is a, is a good place to that it potentially can make landfall. I know that area sticks well out in the ocean, so it could probably get pretty intense around that area. This moves in. I do want to mention after work, I'm probably going down to Florida to chase this thing for a day. Uh, so please pray for me, wish me well. Um, uh, probably going to meet a guy down there, but we'll see. I'm not 100% certain on this. I have about six or seven vacation days to burn at my job. For chasing hurricanes the rest of the year so i don't want to burn them too much on a tropical storm for you guys that are, are new subscribers to my channel i do storm chase and not i don't just uh just make weather videos i like to get active out in it too so um wednesday afternoon it's well inland starting to inch into georgia and then it starts to affect the south carolina the carolinas as early as thursday morning so um, with some heavy rain and uh gusty winds but it's going to be weakening by then um, the, the Euro and the 6Z Euro will come out here in an hour or two, um, but the overnight Euro, it, it actually got a little less aggressive in the 18Z yesterday evening, but it's back to being very aggressive as far as the OOZ, so the run overnight is much more aggressive. Has this thing intensifying, almost some rapid intensification as we get into this afternoon. Starts to really deepen the storm, even gets it down sub 990. That would be pushing a Category 2 hurricane. 
um, but has it as a category um, one hurricane um, tomorrow morning about to make a landfall in the Big Bend of Florida. Um, and actually, it kind of slows it down, too, so it really hits this area hard. Here it is around tomorrow, actually, afternoon. It, it, it you know, I would say late morning, early afternoon, making landfall here in Florida before it really starts to pick up some speed and move on out here. Um, but this would this would be not just bad news for the Big Bend of Florida. This would be a big win for the Euro after struggling very early on in Elsa's uh, beginning of, of its process. It really struggled early on. But this would be a big recovery for the Euro and bad news for Florida if this happens. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen today. You're going to start to see signs of it today. We'll figure out if you're, the Euro is on to something. But here it goes. It's getting into southeast Georgia as a strong tropical storm and actually strengthens as it gets back into South Carolina uh, Thursday morning and really hits the Carolinas hard if this was to come to friction. We don't know if it is, but that is that is a nasty scenario showing up by the Euro. We'll see if the morning run here in the next hour or so comes up a little less aggressive, and it sure it might will. Um, but it, it, this time, you can almost pretty much throw models out the window anyways. These are just kind of guidance. We, we can pretty much just look at the um, what's going on right now because it's so close. The latest HWRF model, this is the latest, latest one, the 06Z, has a storm strengthening, kind of like the Euro, just southwest of Tampa Bay. But then it begins to weaken as it really interacts with land, and I think it's just that... I just think this part of the storm is just really getting hit hard and it's kind of affecting the rest of the storm from really deepening and uh, makes landfall. It looks like it tries to strengthen right before landfall is a 998 storm. This would be Wednesday morning and gets into the Big Bend of Florida as a 998 storm, which is a pretty strong tropical storm, then rolls up through Georgia. And I think this is as far as this model goes. So it's going to be some nasty weather for sure. Um, tropical storm warnings up for the entire eastern area of Florida. So definitely pay attention to this storm um it's going to be a dangerous situation across the entire peninsula today let's look back at the radar if it'll pull up here um i don't have my ethernet cord plugged in so my internet's kind of slow um for any new subscribers i do have kind of slower internet so um here it is it's uh the brunt of tropical storm elsa starting to move Basically, the dirty side is starting to move over the Florida Peninsula and will continue to do so throughout the morning, enhancing a tornado threat as there's always the case. That's always the case on the eastern quadrants of this storm. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, I want to pray for everybody in the Florida in the path of the storm. You all stay safe. Hunker down. I know you all have seen worse, but you can't downplay a tropical storm. Um, sometimes these can get pretty dangerous. It's a pretty strong one, too. So. Thank you all for tuning in, and you all have a great day, and um, I might be live streaming a little later today, so thank you all for tuning in. You all have a blessed day.